You know, we uh, we talk about all the time the thermal clip-on. Thermal clip-on, that's our thing we do. Say one more time, thermal clip-on. I don't know how many times we're going to say that in this, in this video, but we're going to say it quite a few times. Um, so we wanted to do a video and tell everyone why we decided to focus our efforts on this and then why we're going to continue to do this and the benefits of using a thermal clip-on. And I got none other than the great Josh Cavalier here. He's going to walk us through in his experience, why forward mounted and thermal or forward mounted optics, I know thermal uh, wasn't a big thing in your time in the pow pows. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. So uh, I guess to start off with, what is the most important thing about any weapon system in your? Um, accuracy. You oh, have okay. to be able to hit your target to achieve the desired result. So it has to be accurate, you have to be able to see. Ping or splat? Either way. Yeah. So, you know, with that, you know, what is, a, you know, in your experience, you know, in, uh, in training and also in downrange, how, how important is it to be able to not have to change your weapon system constantly? Because, you know, to have a dedicated night. It's something that has come about during my career. We went from a night vision site that was taken off during the daytime. So you lose your zero, or at least you'll have a shift. With a clip-on, you run your zero day optic and shoot all day, throw on your night device, right. and you're ready to shoot. No re-zero, no loss of zero. So that's the one big benefit to it. You also get your same sight picture and your same ergonomics to your shooting. And the same dope, in theory. Same, yeah, same data. Yeah. Conditions will change at night for long distance, but. Another video, another time. Yeah. Um, so what do you, you know, and the, another thing too, that uh, when you're in this, I think goes more into the hunting market and, and when you're working in that space, and I guess also in law enforcement and search and rescue, but the ability to take this off and scan a field or look around and scan your, your, your surroundings, even more so thermal than it would be with, uh, with, with uh, you know, yeah. night vision, right? Cause you can actually look at heat signatures. The ability to do that, you know, how invaluable would that have been to have something you could have actually scanned with and found targets that you didn't know were there? Um, I mean, we, we have stuff, but it's prohibitively yeah. expensive. Um, what would something like this run in, uh, for a, a, a comparison? You know, a, a good forward mounted optic to be able to do what the 640 core thermal can do? I like the military version yeah. cost? Um, 80 to $120,000. Jump change. Per unit. Uncle Fancy's got that. Uncle Fancy does not have that. <laughs> um, but with this unit, obviously it's much less expensive and it also gives the ability to take it off and use as handheld where the military unit does not. It's right. dedicated clip-on. Um, so we, we actually even gain a, a little bit of functionality over, over what I used in the military. Right. And you know, with our 384, this is obviously the Honey Badger for those who don't recognize it. It's a Honey Badger with a suppressor on there. Um, for this one, you know, we're not really going to be shooting out past, uh, you know, 200, 300 yards realistically. 300 yards is still going to be stretching it. But the ability, go ahead there. Because the ability to, as we're out in the field, and we've getting more and more proficient with it, we spend more and more time with it, to now have what's ultimately one of the lighter uh, semi-auto setups on the, on the market right now. Be careful with your wording these days with these things. Full semi-automatic. Full semi-automatic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the, you have to pull the trigger once every time, not twice. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fast. Um, so uh, you basically have a very lightweight setup that you can see everything you need to see with this one. That's a 384. With our 640 core, we do. You, I do use this on the honey badgers because I'm spoiled now. So I like to see the hairs on Z animals. Um, but the 640, you can see every bit of 2,000 yards. So we, uh, you guys are actually leaving tomorrow to do some uh, some long range com com competition shooting where we were probably using, I would assume, our stuff at night again out there. We were taking seven, I think 700 yard shots at night. And Something like that. no one had a problem ringing it every time. Yep. Only hard part was keeping the steel hot. Um, Bullets so, will do that. They will do that. Um, and then, you know, we're, 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 we've been working a lot with uh, different uh, sniper and precision rifle teams. 
What has been the overall reception of the 640 core? Uh, let's, you know, we're talking about a little bit of the longer range stuff. What has been the overall reception uh, in the community for the 640 core, or the Pro, the Ascendus Pro? Without giving any direct quotes of what guys said, because I'll mess it up, um, the general consensus is that this gives them a clearer sight picture than most of their current issue military uh, thermals. Um, Which are roughly twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Is that correct? The lower end ones, yeah. yeah. So um, most guys don't get thermals; they get night vision. Right. And just being able to see through some of the versions that we have that they've been <laughs> issued, and then use ours, it has been an overwhelming positive uh, result for clarity and detection distance and the ability to put it on their military issued guns and still shoot um, at nighttime detecting thermal signature versus just night vision is uh, a huge advantage. So everybody so far has loved it. And there is uh, there are competitors out there for uh, for thermal clip-ons and we've actually seen one that's even close but what I've uh, you know the more of research we've done so ours are everything's metal. Mm -hmm. Everything we do inside and out is metal. Our cores are metal. We don't do any porcelain. We don't use anything, no porcelain, no polymer. Our stuff is damn near bulletproof, right? Which where a lot of the competition when they're trying to save money is on the core and ours is absolutely, we've beaten the ever living dog snot out of these. I think yours is 300 Norma. Is that what you've used yours on? Up to 300 Norma, yeah. Yeah. And we actually in a uh, motion picture very soon, there will be a 50 cal used on the 640 core. That's a fact. Uh, I mean, if it's on a movie, it's real. American Spotter. Ooh, American Spotter. Mm -hmm. I'd watch that. That's it's, what's sad. It's about me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I seen it. We also have a 35 millimeter objective lens, which is fairly yeah. large for, I don't know if you want me to point this right at your face. It's clear, but you don't know that. Um, so it's a much larger, when you look at a lot of the commercial thermals out there, you'll have anything from, you know, a, a, yeah. a 40 millimeter to down to, you know, half an inch lens on some of the cameras. Yeah. Um, but 35 mil is a pretty big lens and that's, yeah. that's what gets us our clarity, that's what gets us our detection range is a larger lens. And then also, you know, the last thing with ours is it is still, you do have the ability to, uh, to run it as a standalone. Uh, this, the 384, the Incendus, original Incendus had one reticle, you turn it on, turn it off. The Pro has got four reticles with three color options. There's a lot more information, a lot more data in there. And we are working on uh, diopters for the back end, right? So that you can actually run them as a more magnified uh, standalone as well too. Um, you know, we're obviously a little bit biased, but I do believe the Incendus is quite possibly, probably the most versatile, uh, tool in the night in the night world right now sure um, uh, especially for the price uh, we got the app now too that is, is going to be released for the incendus pro so it's going to be a be a fun little gadget but also very very yeah. very deadly so we're going to be able to have do you want to talk about the app for a second let's do it so if we have the thermal casting its own wi-fi signal into your phone if you were in a um in a deer blind for example and I'm on a gun aiming at a target, I can have my guide or my spotter, whoever's there with me, watching the same thing that I see through the thermal and kind of participating in the right. shot when they're not on the gun, which is pretty neat. Which is fantastic, especially for the thermals. That's not something you we has really been accessible for thermals. A lot of night vision has that, but our, our thermal to have that accessible through the pro is gonna be really great too for like you said, for for especially it's really good if you're hunting with your kids, which a lot of sure. people have seen is you'd be able to say, you know, look at that, you know, take you that shot. Cast it uh, to the iPad, you get yep. full screen, it's beautiful. And then you get to save it immediately and, and share it with your friends and show them all the fun times you've had. And if you miss, you're going to be able to see it. Yep, I've done that. Mm -hmm. Been there. <laughs> it happens. To the best of us, evidently. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's Anything bad. else you got uh, for, the, for the old Sendai's? Yeah, I mean, just one more thing about the versatility. With a, with a gun this size, it's not going to hurt me to have the gun up and scan for targets. But if I'm hunting with the Barrett MRAD, yep. which, which I've taken out with this thermal, I don't want to have a 22 pound rifle up yeah. at my shoulder when I'm scanning for targets. So all I have to do Clickety is click. pop it off, pop, pop. sling or store the gun in the, in the ride, and I can drive in the passenger seat, I can ride and scan the fields 
when I see something I want to shoot, coyote, pigs, Neil guy, I throw it back on the gun and I get out and I'm ready to shoot in about five seconds. So not having to have the gun up to your shoulder to use your thermal is a, is a big benefit in my opinion as well. It's fantastic, man, and that's the thing too. We actually, uh, the night we were driving, I had my, the Psionics on one and then I had the thermal on the other looking around because you can drive pretty well with the other one, but the other one you can see little, and we actually saw, these are on see plenty of rabbits. closed roads with qualified drivers only that we do driving with a thermal and a camera on each hand, right? Are you calling me a qualified driver? <laughs> It makes me feel good, man. Private property. We'll just say it's private property. We're not doing we this driving see. down state roads. You're going to get in trouble. Oh no, we don't do that stuff. You can't, plus, you can't see thermal. You can't see through glass. It has to be open windshield. Now, I've seen you drive with your head out the window. That you, that, we, it's, you don't want the pigs to see you coming. It's true. <laughs> but yeah, can I have anything else? Let's go shoot. Oh, I'm ready. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. You and Old Decker, at it. First, first time ever, united the uh, former we, army guys. That's true. They're down at uh, Dark Corners Concept. Give up, give them a look at it. it. We're talking about a lot of competitions, but this is actually a one where they do some night shooting too. Uh, look them up for real world sniper competition. It's a good one. Um, and we it's are sponsoring this one. It is, I, I would agree, it's probably the best team match uh, as far as this type of stuff out there. It's a good time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, any questions, reach out to us, any social media, AccuFireTech, and we look forward to talking to you guys. Cool. Thank you.